Hi guys, it's Claire for Saving a Life, and I am under siege. <laughs> um, so I just got this new apartment, and so far it's been awesome. Um, but right now, my house is full of flies. And if any of you know me, you know I'm not a filthy person. I don't have rotting food sitting around, and uh, I have no idea where they're coming from. Um, as some of you may know, I had a raccoon, and um, my landlord came and trapped it and took it away, and I'm wondering now if perhaps it had babies that have now died in the walls and have created this Lord of the Flies situation around me. So um, I can't take it anymore. I've been hoping they would like die out and everything, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I'm making fly traps. So what I have here are some empty bottles. I've got three of them because there's quite a few flies, quite a few. Um, and I'm in about like a third of the way down. I'm just gonna start trying to cut it open. <laughs> I need better scissors, but this is all I've got. Right. There we go, okay. And then just cut it all the way around. And the finished product, this tip part, you're gonna turn it upside down and drop it in there and tape it shut. Eh, it'll be like that but for right now I need it out um, but I'm gonna get these cut and then I'm gonna show you the filling this is everything that you will need to do it I'm using um, sweet dry cereal dish detergent apple cider vinegar and some juice you'll need duct tape and scissors to do the bottles but i'm doing three bottles if i find more bottles i'll do more see there's another fly right there see i'm under siege so let's get these put together and then i'm going to show you what how they do later on after they've sat out a while okay first things first i'm taking the bottom part of one of the bottles or really all of the bottles um and i'm going to take this sweet cereal and divide it pretty evenly into the bottom um, <laughs> didn't swallow them, I was scared. Um, so the things I've been seeing say to put like fruit and bread. I don't have any bread right now. And the only fruit I have, I need. Uh, and I haven't started it, started using it yet. So I don't have like the rinds and the corn and everything to put in here. So that's why I'm using the juice. Um, it's not going to be a whole lot of juice, but... Um, there's that and then the cereal is because I don't have any bread and it's also sweetened so just a little substance there we go cereal in the bottom all right and then I'm gonna take some of the I'm gonna mix all of my liquids together I think um, jeez, I'm dying. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take the jar that I had the cereal in, and I'm going to take my juice, not a whole lot, just throw some in there, and then I'm gonna take my vinegar, again, not a whole lot, just putting some in there. And then the dish detergent. And I'm gonna put a fair bit of that in there. All right, I don't have anything to stir it with except my scissors, so I'll wash them when I get done. Anyway, it looks absolutely disgusting. Smells absolutely disgusting. And, uh, whew, yeah, I hope they like that. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, now that it's all incorporated, I'll wash those here in a second. 
I'm gonna pour this over the cereal. And let it chill. All right. So now I'm gonna take the lid of the bottle and well, cram it down in there. You don't want it submerged by the liquid, otherwise they won't crawl in there and get it. So you just want it like, I don't know how well you can see that. It's not touching the liquid, so they actually have to crawl in there after it. Um, so I'm gonna take my duct tape and adhere it all together. See? There we go. So there's one down. I'm gonna make the rest of them. I'll get them placed. And then here in about an hour or so, I'll check them. And then a little later this evening, I'll check them again and I'll put that in there. Um, I've got another video to make. I'm doing some laundry. So um, I hope it works because I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Placement number one. This one is in the living room on the bookshelf. And it looks like there's actually some fruit flies around it. So hopefully they will be interested. Location two is in the windowsill of my bedroom where I feel like they like to dive bomb me at night. So, oh, there's one in the windowsill. Maybe he'll come down and be interested, I don't know. And location three is by the stove in the kitchen and there's some fruit flies that are interested in this as well. All right, I'm back. I just got done working a little temporary second job and so it's been like eight hours or more, probably more since I showed you what was in the traps. And uh, at least here in the kitchen, it looks like there might've been some progress. So I'm gonna show you all of those. And then, um, sorry, the rabbit's an like anxious because I came home, she wants me to feed her. But I'm gonna show you um, how it did, I guess. I don't know how well you can see it, but there are some fruit flies in there. Um, the cereal looks gross, but there's no like actual flies. So that's kind of disappointing. Let me go check the rest of them. Same story with the one in the living room. I've got some fruit flies, and I, to be honest, I didn't even realize I had this many fruit flies. Um, the regular flies. Same deal with the one here in the windowsill of my bedroom. So, uh, there is right over, right there, there is a dead fly on the windowsill, but I don't think that that is to the credit of these fly traps. So, all in all, I think that I'm just gonna bomb the house tomorrow while I'm not home. Um, I'm gonna have the rabbit go stay at my friend's house and I'm gonna just bomb the house because I can't take it anymore. Um, so these weren't great for fruit flies that I didn't know that I had. Um, not so great for house flies, but um, now we know. So uh, as always, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you around.